Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my first impressions look on the brand new Jordan Zion 3. So this is Zion Williamson's third signature shoe with Jordan brand, but it's their like new version of the regular Zion 3, right? So the regular Zion 3 retails for 140 bucks. And then uh, some of the colorways are actually on sale for like 100 bucks. And then you can also put another 20% off with the code SPRING. So they're having a crazy sale, but then the SE retails for 150 bucks. So it's only $10 more. And of course, uh, there are a couple of differences, right? Uh, so first of all, the difference of course is the cushion. So uh, as you guys can see, this is a regular Zion 3 and we have a four foot bottom load four foot zoom unit. And then look at the SE, look at, well, for only $10 more, we got a full length zoom unit. And there of course are a couple more differences as well, which we'll go over. So if you guys do want to cop there, I mean, this colorway is still available. All sizes are pretty much still available and now that I just checked. So I'll try to leave the fill link in the description box. It does help me out if you do want to get the Zion 3. If you click on the link to get it, or you can get the actual shoe from the product, like the pictures underneath this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for all of the support. Uh, but let's get it started right off with the tractionase and the traction is pretty much identical, right? So we have a herringbone traction pattern here for this pod in the forefoot. It says Zion here in the midfoot and we have this kind of like ripple pattern, right? But one difference is that in this colorway, uh, this ripple pattern like here in the heel and midfoot is a solid rubber it looks like. And then here for this colorway of my regular Zion 3, it's a translucent outsole, right? So the regular Zion 3 was really good on a clean court. It has a nice loud high pitch squeak, has a nice bite. Uh, but if you play on a dusty court, it picks up a lot of dust, guys, and it's affected by dust a good amount. So that's what I feel like is gonna happen with the Zion 3 SE because, I mean, yeah, it's probably using the same exact rubber compound. It is translucent as well with this uh, four foot rubber pod. Uh, and, you know, my floors are pretty dirty. My dogs are shedding. There's a lot of dog hair. I don't know if you guys can see all that. Look, uh, hopefully it's coming out on camera, but it seems to be picking up a lot of dust in the SE as well. So hopefully, you know, they did change up the rubber compound, but I have my doubts on that. It'll probably perform just like the regular Zion 3, pretty much a dust magnet, right? Of course, for durability, it'll be very good though. The herringbone here in the pod is actually very, very hard. The grooves are deep and also there's a lot of surface area, right? Uh, so uh, pretty much identical traction to the regular Zion 3. And now moving on to the heel to toe transition, uh, it feels kind of smooth, but also a little stiff here or like a little clunky here in the heel, right? So as you guys can see, uh, look at all this plastic, look at all this rubber caging, right? There's no midsole at all because it is using a drop in midsole and um, it does feel pretty clunky. There's no uh, compression here in the heel. And then coming here into the forefoot, we got a nice curve shape and a lot of forefoot flex, right? It's a pretty flexible forefoot here. Same thing here in the Zion 3, right? It's pretty clunky here in the heel, coming here into the forefoot and then Look at how flexible it is, you know? Uh, so overall heel to toe transition is pretty much identical, but it does feel a little bit smoother because the cushion, like the drop in midsole in the regular Zion 3, I don't know what it is. It feels a little bit softer in the heel. You know what I mean? And uh, so moving on to the cushioning setup. So I checked the tech specs for the Zion 3 SE and it says it's using Formula 23 foam. It doesn't say Formula 23 anywhere on the drop midsole or anywhere on the shoe. So that has me a little skeptical because it says Formula 23 here for uh, the regular Zion 3, right? So it's using full length Formula 23 foam, right? And a uh, bottom loaded four foot zoom in it here in the four foot. And of course we have this midfoot chain plate, right? Zion 3 of course is using a full length zoom bag. This is old school. You guys remember this and you guys remember pretty much the last shoe that had full length zoom with this drop in setup is the LeBron 11. Of course, if you count the Kobe 11 uh, and you had to do the ID version, the regular Kobe 11 Elite had a uh, heel zoom in, I, I believe. The ID version, you can do the full length zoom unit as well, right? But here in the LeBron 11, of course, we have a full length zoom unit as well, right? Look at the zoom bag. Uh, but it is using Lunalon, right? It says full length zoom tech here, and then it says Lunalon here on the other side. Uh, and I, I, you know, I haven't worn the LeBron 11 in a while, but I just wore these and it actually feels softer and a little bit bouncier uh, for the drop in set. I don't know why, you know? But anyways, how does it feel? Uh, it feels 
very very nice you have that nice compression and bounce right underneath your foot because it is pretty much full length but for some reason uh, when I feel it the formula 23 feels a little bit softer you know here in the heel especially comparing to the regular Zion 3 so there's a little bit more compression in the heel but of course you have that nice bounce because of that full length zoom bag a uh, core feel seems pretty good it's not amazing but it doesn't feel terrible either it feels very similar to the regular Zion 3 but like I said it doesn't feel as bouncy as the older kind of like unit maybe it's because this is Lunalon Lunalon might be a little bit softer I don't know I don't know what the case is um, but it does feel a little bit bouncier here in the regular LeBron 11 you know what I mean and honestly I don't really remember having to break in uh, this setup either to feel as bouncy as this or the Kobe 11s, you know? But of course, this is very, very nice to see, you know what I mean? Because we, we've we been getting full length zoom strobo, zoom strobo in the, in the forefoot and stuff like that, uh, which does feel crazy. But to me, this feels more of like a controlled bounce because you have foam underneath your foot between the zoom bag and your foot. It just feels like a little bit more controlled bounce, which I do like. And also, of course, you have that nice compression as well from the actual foam. Uh, so I do love how they bring that back. So it does feel a little bit bouncier of course than the Zion 3 right here in the heel feels a little bit bouncier but uh the regular Zion 3 just feels a little bit softer maybe it's because the formula 23 is a little bit thicker right and uh to account for the full length zoom setup here in the heel maybe they had to make it a little bit thinner here in the heel for the se but anyways it's really really nice if you guys have never tried a drop in you know with a full length zoom bag underneath it you definitely need to try it so there is the cushioning setup there moving on to the upper so the upper is also changed it seems like they're using like a pretty crappy leather material or like a synthetic leather actually so it's not that nice you know what i mean but also another thing that i do like is that they embroidered this pattern you know what i mean this is this pattern is supposed to be zion williamson landing in mud and this is kind of like the splatter print apparently <laughs> you know in the regular zion 3 it's not embroidered it's just this like, kind of like plastic material that they kind of like glued on there and also the regular zion 3 has this really nice textile material it's a lot thinner it feels like and also a lot softer you know the se this feels a lot more supportive but the regular zion 3 didn't really have any issues with support with the upper right so i'm uh, not a huge fan of that change that much but i do like the embroidered part that does feel nice and also i really like the midfoot strap they did add a midfoot strap i don't know why they did because it, this shoe didn't really have any issues with support um but if you want extra lockdown i guess in the midfoot you have this kind of like two-way strap you know what i mean uh one-way straps are pretty much useless in my personal Opinion. you know for example in like the Kyrie 6 it just goes one way uh, if you really tighten it up it still doesn't really lock down your foot that much you know what I mean but with a two-way strap because of physics you can put a lot more force uh, on the strap you know to lock down your foot and this really locks down your foot which I do like right and it's this like a uh, synthetic leather material with this like embroidered part as well you know just like in the upper the tongue is pretty much the exact same as a regular you know zion 3 and it doesn't have that much padding either it's a half booty construction tongue as well and then also in the ankle area is pretty much identical you know we have these pretty nice achilles pads or i guess like ankle bone pads it's more just on the sides of the shoe and then the back of the shoe you know, there's not that much padding so the overall upper uh for ten dollars more i think it's pretty nice you know it's pretty much an upgrade you know accounting for the full length zoom bag and also the embroidered part and also the two-way you know midfoot strap i think it definitely is an upgrade just not a huge fan of the synthetic leather material right and now moving on to the fit you know it's freaking okay i went up half a size and this shoe is still super duper snug right so here in the toe box it's super duper snug especially like at the tip of the toe and also it's really really narrow one of the most narrow shoes on the market right now you know what i mean and it's pretty much the exact same as the regular Zion 3. For some reason, it feels a little bit more relaxed here in the SE, like width-wise, just a tiny bit more relaxed, but it's still very, very narrow, so be careful with that. And um, so yeah, me going up half a size, it was still narrow and very, very snug, right? And it's a little uncomfortable width-wise, it's squeezing the size of my foot a, a good amount. I was just going up half a size. If you go true to that, I don't know, it'll be very, very, very snug, right? I mean, there is a little bit of length. I definitely feel like, you know, length-wise, going true to the size is probably the, the best option. But like I said, it's just too snug. So even if you have a skinny foot, probably go up half a size. And if you have a normal size, foot, probably go up half a size. Uh, but 
I would suggest being more on the safe side and going up a full size, right? Uh, so yeah, just like the regular Zion 3, it's a really, really snug fit. And uh, of course, you know, uh, support and lockdown, you get better support and lockdown, you know, because you have this Mythic Strap. But like I said, the regular Zion 3 didn't have any issues with support or lockdown. And then, uh, you know, with the drop in midsole, we have this raised sidewall here in the forefoot and midfoot. And also we have all these lateral counters. You can see all this plastic, right? This is plastic right here. And we have the rubber coming up. And also another thing that I really like is this window. It kind of exposes the drop in. You can see it if you poke your uh, finger through it. So yeah, our uh, lateral containment, just like in the regular Zion 3 is probably gonna be really good. A lateral stability, also we have pretty much two outriggers, you know, just like the regular Zion 3, we have one here in the forefoot and one here in the midfoot, which is pretty nice. So yeah, the Zion 3 SE seems like it'll be very good, just like the regular Zion 3. And now moving up to the weight, that's something that I'm pretty curious about because this shoe actually feels a little bit heavier than the regular Zion 3, right? Uh, so the SE, Oh my goodness, it comes in at 14.5 ounces, guys. That is really, really heavy. And then the regular Zion 3 comes in at 12.45 ounces. So uh, I don't know what they did to the SE to add two full ounces. I mean, obviously we have the midfoot strap and I, I don't know. Let's actually check which drop in midsole is lighter, you know what I mean? But anyways, the regular... Zion 3 drop in is 2.5 ounces. And then the full length zoom bag is 2.5 ounces. This is the exact same weight. So it's probably the upper, you know what I mean? The synthetic leather, you know, it's definitely heavier than the textile material found in the Zion 3 and the Misfit Strap. But I don't know, two full ounces is kind of crazy. And that's what I noticed wearing the SE is that this is way heavier, you know? Uh, and now moving on to the aesthetics, uh, I definitely like it. It literally look, looks the exact same, you know, with the addition of the Misfit Strap, which isn't, you know, that big of a difference for aesthetics. So uh, yeah, I do like how the Zion 3 looks. And now uh, wrapping things up, yeah, so the SE, uh, I don't know, it definitely, there are some upgrades, but there is a, a couple downgrades as well in my personal opinion. So of course the first upgrade being the full length zoom bag, you know what I mean? Uh, it does feel bouncier than the regular Zion 3 uh, drop in, but honestly, like not that much because here in the forefoot we have this, you know, and also the Formula 23 here in the heel feels a little bit softer because it is probably thicker. Uh, but you know, this is still, I, I would say, a little bit of an upgrade, right? Also, the strap is a little bit of an upgrade, you know, it does improve the midfoot kind of lockdown, especially since it is a two way strap, but it doesn't improve it that much because, like I said, the Zion 3, the regular Zion 3, didn't have any issues with lockdown or anything like that uh, but of course two downgrades is well in my personal opinion is uh, the material you know what i mean i don't really like the synthetic leather material and also uh, it is two full ounces heavier this this is pretty heavy you know especially like you can definitely tell in hand and of course it is ten dollars more but i do like how it's not like way more expensive you know what i mean uh like ten dollars not a huge deal and you get full length zoom but of course like i said that does come with some cons as well uh so yeah i'm gonna be playing in these and see if there is a difference between the, the se and the regular zion 3 and if there isn't probably won't do a full on performance review but if there is i probably will uh but right now uh i don't really like how it feels all too much because of the weight you know uh, so anyways that about concludes my uh, first impressions look on the zion 3 se again if you guys do want to cop i try to leave a feeling in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one